Mr. Holmes, I should like to take the suspects to the yard. You can interrogate them there. Any objections? None, Lestrade. All these events are bad for the baths. And my job. When Garrow found Sir Rodney dead, he wiped the blood upon himself. When Gar A file with herbs. Do you know what it is, my dear fellow? It's the St. John's wart flower, Holmes. It's commonly used as a drug against melancholia. However, an overdosage might lead to a rash or even hallucinations. A fountain pen with solid gold trim. A fountain. Sir Gregory Pitkin's visiting card. An embroidered silk handkerchief. Rodney Bentcliffe's notebook. It may contain something of interest. The last pages were torn out. We must find a way of retrieving Sir Rodney's last lines. Watson, please prevent anyone from entering the room. But first, fetch me a pencil. To begin with, a few strokes of the pencil will be enough. And then to gently smudge the leftover pencil mark. Mr. Holmes, the coroner had... But what are you doing? Tampering with the evidence? I prefer to make them talk. Today, I almost found it. This date will go down in history. Sir Rodney was about to make an outstanding discovery. Wonderful. I could retrieve only the final words. The rest of it is lost. Perhaps the autopsy will assist us in that matter. I'm not sure that I can allow you to inspect the body now. I am sure that you must, Constable. Well... An ordinary pencil. This ring was most likely the one that Sir Rodney wore. He removed it before entering the steam room. An Egyptian symbol. It is a very old jewel. I see the join. This ring was repaired, and quite badly, too, with silver. Why on earth would they wear such a ring? A very pertinent question.
an old and rather dirty coin. A hand-drawn map. When Garo found Sir... An unusual wound, inflicted by a curved knife, which resulted in instant death, as the coroner's report says. According to the coroner, there were no cardiac problems nor lung congestion, but there were traces of fungus, possibly contracted from the Egyptian tombs. The coroner observed no stomach nor liver disease, if we're to accept that Sir Rodney was an occasional drinker and 63 years of age. According to the coroner, The bruising is in lines. The bruise... Some light bruising caused by a rope. They were caused by a rope around the waist. Sir Rodney was descending somewhere. What should we do next, Holmes? Locked. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. A good day to you. My name is Sherlock Holmes. I'm assisting the police with their investigation of the murder of Sir Rodney Bentcliffe. Would you mind if I asked you a few questions? Ah, uh, uh, I am Tristram Garrow. What is your occupation? I, I am a councillor at the uh, district chamber. And what were you doing at the baths? Well, I, I follow the researches. I am uh, I interested in, in archaeology. You follow them? Yes. So many things happened and w we need to know. Or perhaps it's better hidden. I beg your pardon, Mr. Garrow. I, uh, I, I meant nothing, but by that I, I apologize. What was it like to work with Sir Rodney? It was like uh, working w with a genius. He was a hard man, but then, you, you know, this world is hard. There are always people who want to steal from you. And he, uh, he trusted me, but, uh, oh. Are you feeling unwell? Oh, I'm sorry. He is I. I, I remember. Oh, I... I feel so sorry. Do you need anything? I, uh, I, I, I feel bad. I, uh, I, I hear... No, nothing. I, 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 I'm better now. Please try to recall what you saw today. The room was so, so hot, I, I had to remove my glasses. I was not feeling so very well in, in there. But you found the body. I saw the knife, you know. Flying through the air, I, I, I saw the blood. I tried to escape. I, I don't remember. Saw the knife. What did it look like? Everything was as if I in a nightmare. It all happened so fast. The knife was shining like, like gold. Had Sir Rodney exhibited any recent strange behaviour? Well, he, he had been rather secretive these past few days. Last Thursday, for, for example, I, I saw him leave. When he returned, it, it was very late. He showed me some wet coins, Roman coins, and uh, he started to laugh. His ring! Oh, it should be destroyed. Why do you say that? It is a cursed ring, digging dark secrets. Really? I... Uh, it is after me now. I know it. Uh, I shouldn't have worked on it in the workshop. It's too late now.
This is the coin that, that he showed me. It is from the third century. It must be very rare. No, I, 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 I don't know. Thank you. Thank you. This will help me to calm down. Do be careful with the dosage. I, I will. I mean it. Did you place the bottle of champagne in the changing room? What? No. Garrow appears to be rather mentally disturbed. Either that or he is a good actor. Please escort this suspect for interrogation. <laughs>